Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com Bringing you another video, this has been my go-to muddy water fly here lately. Um, I call this the black and blue. No other reason than it's black and blue. Um, I kind of just been messing around with it and uh, it's been working real well for me. The spring here in central Pennsylvania has been real up and down. We've had just crazy weather. Um, today, for instance, it's back up high and muddy again while I shoot this video. We had rain all day long. Um, I've really been fishing this one really hard with uh, the muddy water and um, it's been doing quite well. Actually, we was out fishing with it yesterday, caught a good many fish on it. So I'm going to show you how I tie it here. It's a really simple pattern, just a couple of materials and let's get into it. For um, the hook, what we're using is a Hannock 450 BL. This uh, I like using the 450s because of the nice wide hook gap there you can see. And for the bead, I'm using a slotted tungsten metallic bead in a 2.8 millimeter. Um, pink is what I've been using in the muddy water. When it's uh, starting to clear up a little bit, I actually switched to a purple bead on it and was catching fish yesterday. I was fishing it with a purple bead and we had some success with that. So, like, when it's in the dark mud, you know, not the dark mud, but the, the stage, like, between the, the brown, the chocolate milk, and the green, that stage of mud, that's when I like to fish the pink one. And uh, when it starts just, you know, starts turning more green, that's when I switch to, like, a purple or a black would be fine, too. Something less, um, less flashy. So all I do is I'm just going to tie some dark gray 140 denier thread on here. And then we're going to put a cocktail on tail, um, medium pardo, and not real thick, just six or so fibers. We're just going to pull the fibers off of there, bunch them up, get them all the same length, okay? And then we're going to hold them up to our fly, and we're going to make it about the length of the fly. We don't want a real long tail. We want it noticeable, but not too long. And then I'm just going to wrap right back to the bend of that hook. And I usually put like one wrap underneath just to hold them up. And it'll actually splay it a little bit too when you do that. Just just enough to, to make it look a little bit extra. You can see there, that's usually what happens when you, when you run that underneath. The next thing I'm using is some um, ultra wire. This is blue, brassy sized. And um, you could use smaller if you have it, but... It's just been a great color combination here for me lately. The black and blue, that's why we called it that. And we're just going to wrap it on and wrap it back there to where we stopped the thread before and wrap it back up. And we're going to build just a slight taper. You can see there, there's not a whole lot of a taper, taper to it, but just a slight one. And we're just going to rib this up. The best part about this fly, it's like a two minute fly, tops. And once we get it up here to the bead, we're just going to tie it off and helicopter our wire. Last thing we're going to put on is a little bit of squirrel dub and I'm just using uh, this is SLF and it's natural gray. Uh, you could use a darker one if you want with the black thread and the natural gray it actually makes it a little bit dark and it gives it just enough of an offset. You can see there I did not use much. I just Kind of enough to blend it in together and give it a little bit of a collar. So that's all that's to it. We're going to finish it off. And that's a very simple fly that has been catching me a ton of fish lately. And like I said, it's a two minute tie. And these are the flies that catch fish. When you're Euro Nymphin, um, this fly is slim. It's going to get you down to the bottom really quick. That uh, 2.8 bead on a size 16 will you know it's going to be like an anchor so it'll get you right down there real quick and um it'll catch you some fish give it a try all the stuff you need to tie it you can find it at the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com and uh please watch for some interesting stuff we have coming out here soon going to have some more guest tires on soon and uh, we're going to be carrying a new line of hooks that we're going to announce really soon probably in the next week or two that we really like and are really pleased to have one line with us so keep an eye out for that and i'll see you next time please look us up on facebook and don't forget to like our bugs and beard page if you haven't been on there get on there um 
we just have a lot of fun posting stuff. That's all the guys around the area and guys from out of the area too. Guys that have been following my videos and stuff. So uh, like us on Facebook and on our Bugs and Beard page. And until next time, I'm Sean Holsinger.